you know how sometimes you feel like you've got all day and you've got plenty of time to do what you got to do? And then you get to it and you really haven't. I've been sitting around, not I've been sitting around, I've been doing stuff, I've been editing photos and stuff since about nine o'clock this morning. It's now half past one. I've now got to get my hair cut, go to the gym and train, shower after the gym, then go and have my physio at five. So I have three and a half hours minus the drive there, so I've got like three hours and ten minutes. Minus all my driving, we're at two hours fifty, to get hair cut, gym, and beat my physio. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll be right there. Let's um let's um let's go. Being on some chill shit. So let's go get this hairdresser thing another try. Before and after. But this is certainly not how I start looking. Let's just redo this quickly. Something a bit more like that. Last seven's BSN crap. As soon as that hits the mouth, this is like a balloon. Bad. Bad supplements and nutrition. So I just drove 10 minutes and realized that I left my wallet on the roof. <laughs> Intelligence of myself. So we made it to the gym, it's a chest and tricep day, full on bro day, um, just following my bro meal which I had chicken and rice, you know, I got the whole thing down that today, um, only thing I was missing was a jug of gallon water, but you know. So um, as you guys know, my bench press is kind of my worst lift, and I've really been working on it over and over and over again, and it's, it's almost getting there, I think it's definitely getting better, but it's still not where I want it to be, um, I spent... I'm spending a lot of time on getting my setup correct, so you'll see when I lay down the bench, I sort of flex my arms out, pull my lats in, wiggle my feet around, wiggle my back around, you know, just try and get myself in the in the right position. Um, that's why I've moved this camera angle around quite a few times, so you can get different views of where I'm doing. Like you see here, like I flex my arms down, so I try and lock my lats out and roll my shoulders back. And I try and set my feet, and I try, you know, I'm trying to do so many different things. So many mental little click offs I've been sort of watching and learning from online. Just try and get my bench, um, you know, not brilliant, but just better than it has been. And try and get it moving in the right direction. Um, so, it's definitely something I'm trying to work on. It's something I always struggle with, and it's annoying because obviously, it's not in for an ego thing, but like, if someone asks you, no one's going to come up to you and say, how much do you deadlift? No one's going to ask you, how much do you squat? Everyone's question is, how much do you bench? And I'm like, uh, I don't know, it's in pounds. I do 60 kilos, so what's that, 120 pounds? Something little, little weight, baby weight. But that's all I can do, so. I don't know. I'd rather do lighter weight and try and get my form right than just try and crack on and push the heavier weight without knowing what I'm doing. So this is actually at 60 kilos, so 110, 112 pounds, whatever that is. And this is 5 by 5 so I can do this for 10 or 12 reps, but the thing is, when I've changed my, my position, it feels different, and it, it feels a lot different on the muscle when I've sort of rolled my shoulders back and locked my lats and moved my legs. So what I'm trying to do is try and do it slow, a slow negative squeeze and push. So... It's weird because it, when I watched the videos back, I, I was like, man, I was really struggling. But the more I think about it on that day, I wasn't trying to do like fast reps. I was trying to slow push on the way up and just concentrate on squeezing my chest. So if you watch there, I just flex my chest hard as I push up. And that's what I'm trying to do. Um, 
I, I realized that locking my legs made a big difference. So I put my legs back a bit and I dug my feet right in and sort of pushed. Um, I don't know if that's cheating though. Is that cheating? I don't know. It made it easier, so it must be cheating. Or I might be just be doing it right for once in my life. But um, Whatever. As long as it works. As long as it feels good on the chest. But one day I will get that 225 bench. That's going to be my, road, my, my goal of like 2018 or something mental. At some point in my life, I will hit this. <laughs> So, well, we started to move on. Um, I've gone for some incline dumbbells next, you'll see. Um, not my favorite exercise, just because I keep getting this wrist pain and it's still driving me mental. I don't know if you know what it is, it's in like the base of my hand, base of my palm. So, I press in and just suddenly get like a shot of electric pain, and um, yeah, it's driving me crazy. I've got too many injuries going on around here. Um, but it's getting there. This was five by fives again. This was on a full incline. I mean, I normally do it on a single incline, which is just off a flat, and um, that's what I found best. It's I actually ended up doing that because I was watching a um a Ronnie Coleman video, and he always does his bench press off of a single pin incline. And I found that it just gave enough of a variation to hit the muscles so differently. Like, I'd do a flat bench, totally fine. I'd go up by one pin, and just all different muscles started, like, twitching and hurting. So, maybe it's something for you guys to try. Stick the bench on one pin up. Give it a go. See if you like it. Um, this, I don't know why I struggle so much. It's like 26, 28 kilos a piece. 5x5s, five five which... For me, I don't know. Normally I can do 32, so maybe I just tax myself on the bench press a little bit too much. Um, this is my superset. Um, yeah, this was difficult. I started doing really slow um, decline, and then as I press, I push really hard and flex my chest. But um, It really hits sense chest. If there is such a thing, that's where I felt it. Um, and uh, hit your triceps pretty good as well. Um, you wouldn't believe that I'm bulking right now if you look at the leanness of like my shoulders and stuff. It's ridiculous. I hold all my fat in my stomach. It's, it's good and bad at the same time. Um, moving on to more of a slow negative stuff. It was chest flies. I normally do these on dumbbells. But I just figured a bit of variation. Go do it on the pec deck. Um, what I do is I think it's about a 7 second um, negative and then a squeeze. So again, there you can see I set myself up really well. Push my push my lats in, um, get the count the position right. And where a lot of people go wrong on this is they'll they'll set the hand position too high. So you can see I've got a slight bend in my elbows, and my forearms are sitting a good sort of six inches lower than my shoulders. And this is so you can keep all the focus on your chest. I mean, if you go higher, the only place you can put tension is going to be on your shoulders. So you keep it lower, keep the focus on your chest, pop your chest forward. Squeeze the muscle, keep the mind to muscle connection going, and um, that's what you gotta do. Um, but I, I'm loving this low negative stuff. It's all Julian Smith or Smith Julian. I don't know his account Smith Julian, and I assume his name is actually Julian Smith. But that's just an assumption. And don't make assumptions about people. You know, it's not good. Um, so yeah, all his stuff is like slow negatives and then quick positives. Just so you get more of a stretch on the muscles, so give them a try. Um, again, slow negatives. All about slow negatives. My last few is all about slow negatives. They're just killer, and I'm loving them. I love it, love it, love it. They're brilliant. So seriously, give them a try. Try and hit like four seconds, then try six. I mean, some exercises I was doing squats, I was doing ten seconds. Um, Stuff like this, I don't think 10 seconds is good because I think it puts too much tension in your elbows because there's a lot of weight being held there. Um, but some stuff, really go for the negatives and try and push yourself and see what you can do. So that concludes my workout footage. I'm now going to get my neck pricked and my back fixed by the physio. So I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. See you later. So I just got back from having my neck done. Um my back and 
I'm feeling kind of weird. Everything feels like it's tight. Everything feels like it's twitching. I had acupuncture, so I had a needle stuck in me. I had full on neck massage. She she got up to here and she realizes like a massive lump of scar tissue, which is probably causing my neck tension. So I'm working on that. Um, 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 yeah, uh, so the acupuncture, so I'm slightly dazzled and bedazzled and trazzled and vajazzled and wait, what? No, I'm not. Um, I, uh, so I had the acupuncture and basically, which is, I've got a photo which I'll stick up right now. She had these two lines of needles, the ones up in my neck, and the one that was up in the left hand side of my neck up here, I, it felt like it was up here, but it was down here. But I felt it in here so bad because it's pushed on that nerve or tendon or something, which makes the top one move. I don't know some sort of scientific stuff. Um, but yeah, it it worked. Neck feels all night. Stupid camera cut me off again. I had fifteen minutes of Motown on my camera, so I had to delete that quickly. Um, but yeah, it it definitely works. Um, my neck's feeling good. I'm definitely going back for some more acupuncture. Probably after America because I haven't got a long left. I'm headed down to the Henley Regatta to work down there, um, and I've got some more work after that, so I'll do another video when I get back from Henley, let you guys know what happened with that. I'm just going to do a little video about my channel in general, why they're so intermittent, and exciting stuff like that. Not even exciting, just general information that I should have told you guys more about, which I'm going to do, which I'll probably film soon. So, thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please give it a like. Please give it a share and a comment and a subscribe and just, yeah, thanks for appreciating. Um, I still enjoy making the videos. I'm going to talk about this in the next video. Don't spoil it, spoiler alert. Coming soon. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.